welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Um, another 24-7 news report today, they're all coming really thick and fast as we get into the last week of January. Um, and quite a bit of news today, we're going to start off with uh, Medibo Sanyan, who's been linked with Everton recently and uh, today has been um, mentioned again. MSN with a report saying the Blues have been scouting the 21 year old now ready to uh, make a move for him with a concrete offer. Uh, I'm really excited to see this one if it goes off, if it comes off. Um, another young player coming from a, across Europe to test himself in the Premier League. Um, I've never seen him play. Let me know what you think in the in the comment section. I'm not too sure what type of centre back he is. I've obviously never seen him play, uh, but I do know Sociedad have got a couple of really solid players. Um, so this one could be good if it comes off for Everton. Uh, the centre-back joined Sociedad in the summer of 2019 from RC Lens for £4.5 million pounds and has played 13 times so far this season. Um, the report goes on to claim Marcel Brands and Everton are considered a concrete offer. So this one's uh, pretty promising. Hopefully that one comes off. Obviously that's going to be the headliner for today. Let me know what you think of that one in the comments section. Uh, also in the news today... Paolo Fonseca has been in touch with Bernard over a move to Roma. Uh, spoke about this one so much, spoke about it on the live stream last night. Um, and yeah, it seems like this one might just about get done this month. Um, Il Tempo reported as cite by, report as cited by Sport Witness. Roma manager Paolo Fonseca has phoned uh, Bernard. So yeah, we're going to have to see... What happens with that one, stay in touch for it. And obviously, as I mentioned there, the live streams, make sure you keep an eye out for them. We were loads of fun. Thank you very much if you joined. My first time hosting it as well. Really enjoyed it. Um, and apparently as well, £9 million is the fee that Everton won. That was sort of about what we expected, a sort of 8 to £10 million. £9 million right in the middle. Um, I think that would be a, a reasonable offer if we get it. Um, another piece of news today, first piece of Everton women news I'm going to bring to you. Um... Yeah, today Everton women have announced the loan signing of Jill Scott. Uh, obviously a really, really good player around across England in, in women's football, a really big name. Um, uh, you know, used to play for Everton's women's team. She's now returned. Um, obviously made a big name for herself as an England player. Uh, and it's good to see that Everton women making another signing. Um, and then moving on. Back to uh, uh, Everton men's team transfers. Arkadiusz Milik, uh, obviously being linked a lot with Everton, is moving to Olympic Marseille. Uh, apparently it's €13 million Euros, um, to Na from um, from Napoli um, for a loan with an obligation to buy. So I'm a bit upset this one didn't come off for us. I, I thought it would have been a good um, deal if we could have got it done for €13 million Euros as well for a proven goal scorer. I'm surprised Everton didn't go for it. Um, we don't know the ins and outs of it though, do we? Um, moving on to Everton, again, have signed another um, deal with uh, this time, another commercial deal, sorry, this time with Clarity Sports. Uh, they're going to be the new te the official team and business travel partner uh, and the club's match break partner. Um, apparently, uh, rivals such as City, Chelsea and Tottenham also said to use Clarity Sports. Uh, and yeah, they'll be taking care of Everton's um, travel arrangements and stuff like that. So, good to see another commercial deal uh, from Everton. Um, moving on to Anthony Gordon, who's been opening up today about uh, you know some of the chats he's been having with Carlo Ancelotti. Uh, I won't read the whole article to you because it's very long-winded. Uh, but yeah, he's mentioned that uh, he's been in touch with Carlo Ancelotti about you know how he can improve his game. Just wants to fit that one in there somewhere. You know, it's it's quite promising. We all. Really want him to do well, so it's good to see that he's opened up a little bit on uh, his Everton career so far. Um, Josh King, another player that Everton have been linked with. Apparently Burnley are now in the race for him. Um, West Ham, Sheffield United and Everton obviously been interested recently. Um, and Burnley, you know, also interested in John Joe Kenny. So they seem to be, you know, want to try and get busy with their transfers in the, uh, in the last week of the window. And it looks like they're going to be eyeing. Josh King as well, so I wasn't too fussed on this one myself personally. Um, I'm pretty glad. I'd be pretty wouldn't be too mind too much if we let this one go. Um, not sure he's really the answer to our problems, but um, and there's obviously been you know people saying he maybe wants a bit too much wages. 
So, um, yeah, be interesting to see uh, where Josh King does end up. I don't think he'll stay at Bournemouth, but, um, yeah, be interesting to see where he ends up. And then finally today, guys, Joshua Xerxes, again, seems to be in every single one of these videos at the moment. Uh, Palmer are now reportedly ahead of Everton in the race to sign Bayern Munich striker Joshua Xerxes. Tito Mercato Webb have claimed Palmer may lead Everton in the battle for Xerxes as they can guarantee a more first-team football. Um, Marcel Brand said we weren't going to make any January signings, so um, I think this one's still got a few twists in the tail. Um, Fabrizio Romano has been vocal on Twitter about it as well. Uh, he quote, uh, just quote him there, saying, I want to update because of Everton fans asking me every day about Xerxes. Uh, Palmer is still trying, Everton are interested, and then, you know, so interested. I know Everton are denying the move. Um, there's nothing completed yet, so not as 100%. Um, Everton and Palmer are in the race for Xerxes, so I don't think there's been too much of a, 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 a um, too much pr uh, progress on this one. It feels a little bit like a slow news day, and they've sort of said, "Yeah, Palmer, Palmer up leading the race as they can guarantee first team football." I'm not sure what the case is with it, um, but I'd love to see him in Everton. So I really hope this one comes off for us. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of Joshua Xerxes. Um, spoken on, you know, been quite a few topics today, obviously. We really want to get a discussion going, so make sure you leave in the comments down below about uh, you know a couple of the players we've discussed. These sad Milik's going to be going to Marseille and not Everton. Um, Nine million for Bernard is that a good deal? Joshua Zerxes, um, Jill Scott as well moving to Everton. Women is a really interesting one. Um, good to see you know a, a, a former Everton player coming back. Obviously, she's got a really big. Um, reputation across women's football so really happy to see uh, that one and yeah thank you very much for watching obviously keeping out for the live streams as well did one of those yesterday you will have noticed it wasn't me doing the news report yesterday um, as me and Jordan were doing the live stream on YouTube it was really good to see you all coming in asking questions uh, and uh, you know we went off on a bit of a tangent we were planning to talk about Bernard and Tosin and uh, it ended up being Mark Hottiger and um, Apostolos Helios. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter um, at Everton Newsfeed. Obviously, there's so much more discussion on there than what you get on YouTube. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.